Are you here for the Q&A? Me too. Alright guys, I want to say thank you for all your questions, all of them that you guys sent in. Again, whether it be Instagram, I think I'm answering most of these from Snapchat. About to get to this Q&A guys. I'm back home from work for a little bit. I've been working a ton. Sorry I didn't answer your questions. Like I said, I was going to answer them at that night and I was just like, man, I have so much work as far as training, business, plans, things like that. T-shirts. But it's all good. I'm here now and I'm going to continue to film. Continue to have fun, continue to continue. So, uh, to be continued. So, again, these are all coming from Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, make sure to hit that. Actually, go for just follow the Snapchat. Okay. Let's get to it, guys. So, we're just gonna answer these one by one. So, Jada, your question is, why are you so cute? <laughs> that was the picture that I posted. That's kind of a goofy picture, but why am I so cute? Man, um, mom and dad, thank you. Uh, genetics, I guess. I appreciate that comment so much. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that one's hard to ask, the answer. I mean, moisturize, I'm just kidding. I, that's very, I guess, genetics. So thank you, Jada. Running, uh, running fiend ask this what do you like to do for fun besides YouTube or working out so what do I like to do for fun occasionally I'll hang out every once a year now but uh, I'll hang out with friends sometimes you know people that I work with again the big thing for me was I moved I moved from another state where family and friends are there again I wasn't seeing a lot of my family and friends at the point I was living there but you know you kind of get the deal you fresh start move to a new place Tons of new people here. Um, so the big thing for me, what I like to do for fun, um, besides YouTube, besides working out, is again, I like to relax. Uh, me and my sister would play Jeopardy occasionally, like the teen week or the college, so it's not too hard. And uh, yeah, we like to do that kind of stuff. I pretty much for myself, occasionally, again, I've gone out with friends. Um, I've got, I used to be like the big, big, I used to party a little more. Um, I wasn't a big partier, but, I used to have a little more fun when I was uh, younger. So right now I'm at a stage where I'm really focusing more on a career. So again, a lot of my time goes into all of this and I may look like, wow, that, that sounds so boring, don't it? But no, honestly, I enjoy what I do. So it's not boring to me. Um, I like to go to the movies. I see a lot of movies. I see probably a, a movie every Friday. Um, yeah, so occasionally I'll, uh, Hang out with some friends and stuff, you know? Have some fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, and occasionally that's kind of what, um, if you guys see, again, you guys are following me on Snap, but the big thing that happened that I'm going to be trying to do is I'm trying to get on some of these game shows, reality shows. And I've actually got a call back from one, which uh, is called Are You The One? If you guys have heard of it, um, I've got a call, I have a little more processes again it's in Hawaii you have to find a specific girl that they match up for you that is just like you like literally you guys have the same interests the same things might you might be it might be more where you're more comp compatible where you have to work together and that would go my summer um, again I would really like to see if someone out there is so compatible with me because I've found that relationships haven't worked fully for me um, I, there's just things that don't click, and if you guys tune in the show and I'm on there, you guys will find out why. Um, so that's really, honestly, again, I used to go to the, I used to go to clubs before, um, hang out with friends, um, but when I prep too, I kind of cut back on that stuff. So Nick, most effective tips when trying to shred body fat to or be more defined. The most effective tip is to find your calories where you need to maintain your weight and then really just kind of reduce three or 400. So stick to that, stick to calorie counting. Calorie counting, being a caloric deficit is that number one tip. And again, if you're not already active, another tip that would help would start, start just moving, get a little more active throughout the day, go to the gym, have some fun. And uh, I mean, it'll all work out guys. You just gotta get in that caloric deficit. And I, I posted, if you guys want, it's a free ebook on my website. Click on it, you guys can get the ebook. It's how I got, like, 
not shredded, but how I got from 15% body fat to 5% or 6%. 15 to 6%, again, that's how to go from double digits body fat to single digits. I haven't been able to talk today. If you guys are interested in something like that, that's might be for you. I just dropped my phone. Uh, so, again, it's free. It's a free ebook. Nick asks, dream car. Ooh, that's a good question. Honestly, I've never fallen in love with like one of these cars till I actually moved to Texas, Houston, Texas, and I see them all over the place. It is a Corvette. I really... I don't know, I never really found Corvettes to be like, oh, that's a that's a sexy car. But no, I really like Corvettes. Like, to be honest, uh, when I see a black Corvette, I like white cars, but they're dirty. Um, not a big fan of yellow, but the black Corvette, brand new, about 30 grand, I think it's about 30, grand, 30 to 50 grand for one. It's really nice, to be honest. Alex asks, make sure I got my back. How long did it take for you to start seeing results? How long did it take for me to start seeing results? Um, again, I, that's a good question. I was 13 when I started training myself, working out. 13, fell in love with it. I trained arms every day, no leg day. I am ashamed to admit that. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of work to go. By 13 up to, gosh, I would say I really got serious till about 18. 18 is when I started really seeing results because 13 you're still a little kid trying to get into uh, things and then hit puberty you again by 18 I was like skyrocket going with it um, results were going good I actually got really serious into it and that's why I started competing as a teen I was like wow you know I mean I got a decent pretty good physique at the time let's uh let's compete so I did it fell in love with it um, and from there, I mean, probably around 18. So if you guys, honestly, it takes, you'll see a lot of these transformations. They take years sometimes. I mean, I, again, you can make great progress right off the start. You know, like the beginner progress, but it takes some time. It takes a few years. Anonymous. Uh, what's your sexuality? I mean, I'm straight. <laughs> so yeah, I am straight. Um, again, like I said on this show, that I applied for Are You The One. I've also applied for Big Brother, and that's when I got a call back from Are You The One, they were like, oh, did you apply for another show? I said Big Brother, so um, this would be, there's a lot, a few more processes, but yes, I'm straight, I'm straight male. So um, yeah, when I applied for the show, they're gonna go through a little more processes, and I will let you guys know, because I'll be gone probably for about two months on here, but I'll be on a TV show, so. Next question, Jeremiah. What program did you get to get certified as a personal trainer and how long does it usually take to get? Now, this one, I get this question so much. Um, basically, really, you have to, if you already have a knowledge like about fitness, nutrition, all that kind of good stuff, I went through the NFPT, National Federation of Professional Trainers, got my basic uh, certification, went into things uh, very, 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 um, easy smooth process but I had a lot I had a decent amount of knowledge before I went into it because I took college courses like human anatomy I uh, wanted to and then I took nutrition so I knocked all that stuff out so when I went got certified it was super like pretty easy I passed with like a 90 something and then uh, so yeah if you get your go get your certification you can go through NFPT ACE I, I like NFPT it was cheap for me at the time and then once you get your certification, apply to a gym. Go, you know, go see what gyms are hiring. I went to 24 Hour Fitness, literally got a call back real fast, and uh, went up there, met the manager, didn't take long, got hired in, interviewed, all set, went through. It's fun old time, and I worked there today, two years. I've serviced over 751 hours of personal training. I enjoy it. Uh, I've got small and weak wrists. Any tips to get stronger, especially for pressing, or wind pressing? I would say do a lot of hammer curls. Hammer curls are really going to help, again, through the forearm and through the wrist. So when you're doing the hammer curls, you're gonna hit the outside of the peak of the bicep. I really do like those. Um, so yeah, honestly, try doing some hammer curls. Or you can do, again, there's some people that do the wrist, wrist rolls. You can do wrist raises, bringing the wrist down with a dumbbell and then bringing it up. So it's like a curl for your wrist. So um, I hope that tip helps. Again, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe. That was all your questions on there. Well, I think there's 
maybe one or two more, but trying to make this video not super long. Um, and again, I appreciate your support as always. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, guys. I'm out, I need to go eat, I gotta run to work. I got a busy day today. But I'm glad I got to knock this out and I spend the time with you guys. So, appreciate it. Again, like, share, subscribe. I'm out, hit that notification bell. Boom! I my eyes, woke up and I saw my dream.